this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So I'll start with the lower. The very first thing that you'll need to do is remove the single screw holding the stock in place. Uh, that will require a four millimeter Allen. You can insert that Allen into here and remove that screw. You'll need the screw for installation. So set it aside after you remove it. Set that aside there and go ahead and put that down. Now, uh, the next thing that you'll need to do, uh, this lower will come with a, a, a little nut here. This is a 5 16 24 nut. That's the same thread pattern that's on the Benjamin Marauder pistol uh, in, in, the, in the back of the air tube here. Uh, you will you will need to put that into this little hole in the back here. It won't stay in, that's why I, I just put it separately. And I don't wanna have to press every single one of these into a tight fit. So there's this attachment point here. I don't know what this is used for. Uh, maybe it's just, this is kind of like a nut that holds this trigger group in. But, uh, but anyways, there's a, a threaded hole here and a threaded hole here, and you'll use those two for mounting it. Go ahead and slide that in like so. And this screw will come in the kit and it uses a four millimeter Allen as well. You can put that in there, a little tight fit. And don't tighten that up all the way so you still have a little room to play for installing that screw. All right, and tighten that one up, tighten that one up. Okay, so you could technically just leave it just like this, but if you want to add the, the tri-rail for mounting stuff up there or for a little uh, a wider handhold, it'll come with these, uh, these socket head cap screws and the nuts pre-inset. It looks like I actually lost a nut, darn it. You'll get the point for installation. So, First thing you'll need to do is you'll need to knock off this front sight post. You'll need some sort of little block of wood or something like that because you don't want to just directly hit that with a hammer. It's good to have a block of wood up against the, the front sight post and just hold it on there and give it a tap like that. And, and now that's loose enough for me to sort of rock it like that and slide it off. The next thing you'll do is you will slide this rail on. If it's if it's real tight, it may be that you need to loosen up the these screws a little bit. You'll need a two and a half millimeter Allen to so slide this all the way up against the breech and tighten that up. And even with this one you'll see it holds it holds it very securely uh, you'll have that that nut in there and you'll tighten up that one as well now that's done we can put this front sight post back on it does have an alignment feature it has this little this flat tapered surface cut into it and that gets you lined up and then you can take a hammer and tap it in place like that Obviously, you could stop right here if you so choose and you have a nice little tactical uh, pistol setup. I'm going to go ahead and move on with installing the adjustable stock as well. I think this is the this is probably the top my my favorite part of this uh, this whole little upgrade. Obviously, the AR the lower the grip makes it all possible. Uh, so I'll go ahead and tell you a few things about that real quick. So you'll, with the, with the lower, you'll still be able to insert an Allen in there to make an adjustment to the hammer spring. But obviously with this uh, buffer tube mounted, it's going to block that hole. You'll, in order to make adjustments, you'll have to 
you know, remove the adjustable stock in order to adjust that hammer spring. So just note that there is a, a groove in the back of the lower here uh, that serves as an alignment feature and also makes it to where you don't have to tighten up this, this bolt super tight and risk maybe damaging the plastic or whatever. And then there is a little rib on the end of the buffer tube here that lines up and just and kind of locks it into position. And you'll need for installation a half inch socket the first thing that you'll need to do though to install this is you'll either need to uh, remove the screws from the back to expose the hole in here uh, and the, the head of the bolt, or you will need to remove the buttstock from the buffer tube. I prefer to do that, it's not too bad. You can just grab this plunger pin here with your thumb and forefinger and slide it out just like that. Go ahead and set that aside. Now, you have access to the head of that bolt there. Take that half inch socket and ratchet. And it lined up just like that. There it goes. All right, get it. make sure it's in the groove. All right, and then snug it up. Now you have a place to put your adjustable stock. The buffer tube is nice and secure on there. And you can put that on, pull the plunger pin out, snap right into position, and you're ready to go.